and welcome to Cinema Clips. I'm going to be doing a series re reviewing, well, the series, Camp Cretaceous. I'm going to review each episode, hopefully maybe all the seasons, and I've got a massive list to make sure that this series hits every single goal that I set for it. Um, just kidding, I'm too lazy to write a list. Anyway, let's get started. Ah! Oh, whew, sorry. Delayed reaction, I get it all the time. So the series starts off with an action-packed runaway scene for in first-person perspective from a T-Rex. And the eyes of the person that we're looking through suddenly gets eaten by a T-Rex. Oh, sorry, it's just a video game. Which, personally, I do think it is a good way to start a Jurassic Park series. Then we get introduced to our main character, Darius, and his older brother, Brand. And we find out that Darius has been trying hard to win this video game that apparently would let him win a ticket to Jurassic Park or Camp Cretaceous. His brother shares his concerns about him trying to beat a game that could be unbeatable, although deep down I'm sure all of us certainly know it isn't, and says he would like to see him out and about a bit more. Which honestly, I like the fact that they used an older sibling, also his older brother was quite understanding and generally concerned for his well-being. Although I do think he could have got him off the computer in a better way. I mean, what if you broke something? Important. Anyway, skipping forward a bit, I think you can guess what happens. Yeah. Brand? Mom? So at that, we arrive at Jurassic Park and get a first look at the characters we're going to be following around for the rest of the series. And everything seems normal, we've got our usual over jolly leader, but then this happens. Ah, so sorry I'm late. Now I don't really know how people like this would normally act in a situation like this, but I mean like what an entrance. We also get introduced to our rich guy that looks like someone straight out of a heist movie. Greetings, my dudes. Kenji is here, so let the party commence. Talk about no shame. Anyway, they start driving to, well, wherever they're driving to, and that's when something happens. Don't worry about. But you should all definitely stay in your seats. This guy means business. Anyway, it turns out only to be a little dinosaur after a quick jump scare. It is caught, put in a cage, and job done. They soon arrive at the camp, which honestly I like the design of it, fits very well with the whole Jurassic Park theme. After a quick zipline ride, we cut to the bedtime. And everything's been going quite well, so we kind of need something to kick the plot off. Oh wait a moment, I think I see it coming. Now for some unknown reason, at the moment, Darius attempts to sneak out of the compound, until things just don't go as planned. <gasps> hey there, dino nerd. What you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm advancing the plot, bruh. Heading out, cause... thirsty. Hungry. <laughs> Honestly, I did find that kind of funny. Now a little suspicious about catching him trying to sneak out, Skenchy, or whatever his name is, tries to get Darius to spill the beans, in probably the most inefficient way possible. Oh good, I just want us to be friends, and friends tell each other stuff. For instance, what they're doing out of bed, after curfew. What do you th Huh. So that's what toxic masculinity looks like. Shut up! But honestly, the real question is, how do they not even see her? She's almost in front of them. Anyway, Darius ends up telling both of them about his love for dinosaurs, and that he had been wanting to come here all his life, and he would like to see them pronto. And what do you know, both of them end up joining him on his little adventure, that they would absolutely not regret later. They all sneak out, and almost get caught, thanks to this guy. They have the phone dropped into the dangerous lizard pen, thanks to this guy and then climbs down into the pen and certainly won't have to get saved later thanks to this guy. Now earlier on I mentioned that he looked like some straight of a heist movie but honestly I'm kinda glad he isn't. As if being in a dinosaur pen at night wasn't dangerous enough he votes that he would like to take a picture of whatever's in there. I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Their pen houses a much more dangerous dinosaur than they had thought and now this dude is stuck with it. So I mean... 
Wow. Maybe it was just me, but it did kind of look like he was in a narrow walkway that was between the outside walls and the actual cage. Now this is definitely the part where he finds out he is way in above his head, and even distracting these meat-eating menaces is not going to do any help. And the only way they can help him is to open up the main gate. And we don't really know what happens because that's where the episode ends, so... Uh, subscribe so that you know when I release uh, part 2. Now I hadn't actually seen the full episode until now. Like one of my siblings has got this the whole season and I kind of really just dropped in and out while I was on. But along with the really good graphics and the storyline, I think it's a really strong start for a series like this. I'm going to be reviewing episode 2 and with that, and cut. <laughs>